Boo yeah, Josh Bendosky, Bendosky Power Fishing. Just caught this Utah sucker with my little buddy named Ollie. He wants to check out our YouTube channel, so I said, oh, we'll just throw you on there, no problem. And then I'll go over the setup. So we can get him in this picture. I'll go over the setup of how I got this guy here in one second. All right, Josh Bendosky here, BendoskyPowerFishing.com, where we help you catch a ton, a ton more fish. Now, I want to show you a really cool setup, as you saw in that little intro there with that uh, little kid. I was showing him how to fish. I'm going to show you a setup that works really good for when you're in current, just like this. And uh, we also use it for surf fishing, too, with bigger weights and bigger hooks, but it's a similar, similar um, setup here. So let me go ahead and get my stuff out, and I'll show you what we did. Let's go over the setup here. Um, what I was using. So, you know, I like velocity rods. Normally, I love velocity rods. This just happens to be a cheap little combo I was using to help some kids learn how to fish. As you saw there, that little guy. Let me show you how the setup here. So, what you want to do is run your main line, which normally would be braid to fluorocarbon. This happens to just be mono. This is all, well, this is fluorocarbon. So, it's mono. Technically, it's mono to a swivel right there. And then you have two tails coming off here. Now, I, I hook them to, the, to my swivel with surgeon's knots so I can switch them out easily but either way we use this when we're in currents like this river right here that I'm at where the current is going to pull pull everything and get it kind of stuck in the mud and we also do this for surf fishing as well um, so what we do is we have two different connections coming off the top of the, your your rod there okay hook so your main line coming up the middle if you can see that and then on one side you have your weight now that's just hooked with a, a uni knot it's just a nice weight right there and that sits down on the bottom of the river and then you have your second one that has your your hooks on it now we just use worms so I snelled two hooks here one I'll show you here one hook about two feet or a foot and a half and I snelled that one in the second hook and then the third hook I actually hook with a uni knot but what happens is that weight on this other side hits the bottom and you can hook set that depending on the depth of the uh, location that you're fishing in and then so this is just floating in the river in, in the middle of the water column so this would be three feet up in the middle of the water column and this will have your worms on it and it's just floating in the river and so the fish can grab it out of the middle of the water column they don't have to go down and dig for it down inside the uh, down inside the, the the bottom of the either the, the surf or the, the river so anyways that's how you set this rig up it, it works really really well um, for catching fish that are kind of in the middle of the water column if you don't want to use a bobber you know you can always use a bobber same thing and just float it down same thing's gonna happen but if you just want to relax you don't want to have to keep reeling it in over and over again this is a good way to just set that weight on the bottom and just wait for a fish to come and snatch it so get this one through the ice oh yeah oh, oh, oh. catfish right there